I have put the square insert in the test section and I will open the ventilation valve to generate some bubbles. Here the main flow features that we are looking for are just like the other inserts, separation point and circulation. As you can see, the, the flow separates from the square on the side. But here we have also the stagnation point. The stagnation point is in the middle of the lower side of the square. Right here. On the lower side of the square, where water particles hit the square and become stagnant. Here we have low velocity and high pressure. We have also the wake region. The wake is just behind the square where water particles are kind of just floating around, not moving much. Right behind the square, there is a region with low velocity and low pressure. Before we go on to the next step, I will continue filming for 30 seconds so that you can draw a sketch of the flow for your report. Just pause the video if you need more time. After these 30 seconds, we are going to look into more flow properties. Now let's focus on the vague region and see if we can detect any differences in the flow field if we change the velocity. So this was for an inlet velocity of around 1.2 GPM. Let's increase it to 1.5 GPM and see what changes. Did you notice any difference? So the wake region becomes more unstable with more velocity. It starts to vibrate left and right. And also the length, the length of the wake increases with velocity. So when we increase the velocity, the wake region becomes more unstable and it starts to, to vibrate left and right and the length is actually larger. Let's lower the velocity and see see the low the, the lower velocity again. So you see now, that now at lower velocity, the wake region is more stable. It doesn't vibrate left and right as much. And the length is smaller. 